Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping by today. So today is our March installment of a year-long collaboration called Small Space Gardening Collaboration. This is put on by uh, Steve at Digwell Green Fingers and Blue at Blue Self Reliance. There are about 10 of us that are dropping a video on the very last day of every month show, showing you what you can do in small spaces, what each of us has chosen. Uh, we're all in different regions, different countries, um, and just showing you how everybody else does it. I mean, it's, it's really exciting. So, today is our March contribution. Um, and my small space garden, this is it, my container here. Now, I chose to do uh, a proper tea garden, as Blue calls it. <laughs> oh, it's a proper tea garden. <laughs> so, it, uh, it has spearmint, peppermint, lemon balm, and chamomile. Now, I already had some spearmint growing. Um, I'm sorry, I already had some peppermint growing. And it's kind of invasive, so I've heard. Uh, last year, it went, it went dormant over the winter, and so I kind of thought it was dead. But with the warmer weather that we've had recently, it's not dead. It is coming up everywhere. And last year, it didn't do quite as good as I thought it was going to. And so, that's why I was kind of like a, you know, doubting Debbie. And no, it's not that invasive. Well, I see it now, okay? Apologies to anybody I said that to because I'm going to admit I'm wrong. Because um, <laughs> this year, it's coming out like gangbusters. So, what I decided to do, instead of planting from seed and having to go that whole year um, with an eh plant, I decided to take one of the clippings that was invasive and bring it over here and go ahead and get it started here in the small gardening space. So that is what this is here in the end. Now the others uh, I just put into plant starts. So, I don't have anything that has grown yet, um, but I'm very hopeful and very optimistic that my proper tea garden is going to come to fruition by midsummer. So, um, I chose this because I it's right outside of our door, um, and I that all the smells, the fragrances... Um, I, I won't use any of them for, you know, like herbs. Usually you do like a herb garden right outside your back door for cooking. Obviously, I'm not going to use them for that. Um, but I just thought it would be really nice if I could just walk out the door and have my choice of teas in one small space garden. So that's why I did that. Uh, the purslane, which is... Uh, what I chose to also plant with the um, chamomile, spearmint, lemon balm, and peppermint uh, is going to be the ground cover that's going to protect those plants and those roots. And maybe the other plants, uh, you know, will be able to get more of uh, the soil will stay moister because that purslane grows on top and is like a cover plant, um, and it'll keep that soil moist underneath so that those plants can flourish better. So maybe that was part of the problem that I had in the block garden with it last year. Um, I don't, I'm not sure, but I know this year it's going like gangbusters. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of it everywhere, but I want some right here, and then I'll have the other four. I'm gonna space them out equally, uh, but this one, the clipping of it was very unusual. I've never seen a clipping like that. It kind of grows. I wish I had taken a picture of that, darn it. Um, but it grows up, and then it's kind of like a line. And then out of that line, little soldiers pop up uh, all throughout 
And that's why it becomes so invasive because it just, that, that main root goes everywhere and then everywhere it wants to shoot up a shoot, it just comes up. I mean, in the block garden, I'll take you over there and show you. There's even some that are growing between the blocks. So I'll take you over there real quick. Okay, so here we are in the block garden. That is Italian oregano there, and it's coming up really good from last year. But, and these are chives, so I'll move these back so you can see. Look, they're even growing up between the blocks. That is crazy. And the main plant was right here. If you can see these little broken pieces, that was the main plant, and I thought it had died off. But they're coming up out of the sides, here, here. I mean, they're going to grow everywhere. <laughs> Look, way down there. That's how far, like, that feeder root went. Way down there. Maybe we can go down there and pull that up. Let's come down here and pull part of this up, and then I can show you what I was talking about. Oh, it's so exciting to get your hands dirty. I'm so wetted, waited and waited for spring. <sighs> okay, let's see. Uh, darn it, that thing goes down there. Okay, I've got it. Whew. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Wow, let me get my clippers. I'm right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we are over at my small space garden and these three little guys are the ones that I had planted from before. So I think what I'll do is I'll take these instead of throwing them away and I'll dig down and put these in here and then here so I can section it off and this will be the, the block for all of them. So, nice good soil here. I'm gonna get it down as deep as it was. And these two were actually side by side, so I think I'll keep them side by side since they were neighbors before. Nope, I gotta go even deeper. Wow. Okay. That should be good. All right. There's one. I know you can hear our little puppy. One of them. One of two. Okay, I am going to give them just a little bit of space each. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Okay, that one will be there. And then this one will be here. 
Okay. I want to kind of try to keep them the way they were. Tuck them down in there. Okay. There we go. There's one and two. It's got to stand up. Three. Okay. Now these can go down a little more. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So we brought five more over. I hope I don't regret that decision. <laughs> Knowing what I know now. But we're going to give them a little bit of a water in. And then this part of the proper tea garden will be well started and we just had a freeze not too maybe a week and a half ago and these guys i kept them nice and covered up and they made it through quite well i see one little two little leaves that are burnt off all right guys that's it for us here today at not for nothing homestead bringing you our march installment of the year-long collaboration oh i saw my fingers they're all dirty. My nails are dirty. They've been in the dirt. Yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love this. Okay, guys, take care of you and yours. God bless. And we'll see you in our next video. Hopefully the next one will have some little baby plants to show. <laughs> Bye, guys.